fast approaching high profile dust ups, former IPF featherweight champion Robert Guerrero will start as a big favourite against journeyman Johnny Edwards. Rapidly rising British heavyweight Tyson Fury makes a quick return to the ring just three weeks after starching Scott Belshaw. Arguably the sport's finest and smallest pure boxer, Ivan Calderon steps back into the squared circle to defend his WBO light flyweight crown. And topping that Madison Square Garden card is a potential barn burner where WBO welterweight boss Miguel Cotto meets Joshua Clotty. There's a very interesting battle in Liverpool that pits Barry Morrison up against the very awkward and unbeaten Jose Olusegun. And in Mexico, a portion of minimum weight gold is up for grabs as Juan Palacios takes on Eric Ramirez. We return to Australia now for the main event that pits action Jackson Asiku against former super featherweight titleist Gary St. Clair for the IBF Australasian belt. The Ugandan-born Asiku is a quality world-class operator keen to gain revenge for a 2003 reverse to St. Clair. St. Clair is famed for his granite jaw and silky defence, but a loss could see him booted out of last chance saloon. St. Clair was the IBF super featherweight boss as recently as 2006 and surrendered his crown to current king Malcolm Classen. Britain's unbeaten Kevin Mitchell is the highest rated contender and could grab a title shot before the year is out. But there's some Australasian business to sort out first and we'll join our main event in round one. But yeah, look pretty willing opening round here. Asiku looking to get revenge from their 2003 uh, their previous encounter, which I didn't see, but Emily was pretty tight. Did either of us, got, did you see it? Um, uh, I, I did, yeah, and, and Gary was, he, I mean, he was probably fighting Gary Sinclair in, when he was closest to his prime, so, um, you know, if he can get the win back, that's great, but uh, he is fighting uh, Gary Sinclair that, as much as Gary says to me, he's, he feels the best he ever has in his career. And in saying that, he's, he's, he's really impressing me, he's moving really, really well. Both fighters are impressive. And Gary Sinclair is a defensive genius. Oh, defensive genius, an absolute whiz. I mean, Lenny Zappa did hurt him on a number of occasions, and Lenny's a bomber, absolute bomber. But he weathered the storm. Once he was caught with one, he'd just go into his shell and ride him off his shoulders. Defensive wizard. Great evasive skills are going to be demonstrated over the course oh, of no. the next couple of rounds here. I can't see this one ending prematurely either. No, this is going the distance. Boys, uh, Gary Sinclair, as, as the veteran of the contest and the veteran of the night, is a great illustration of getting your base oh, correct. And Sinclair has oh, been drawn. Three. Oh, no. Oh, it's a gun. Three, it's five, never happened ever. Six. Seven. Eight. It was a good punch. Give us your hands, buddy. Come towards him. OK. Box. Gary Sinclair yelling, good punch, good punch. And our referee... Gary Ingram said, Gary, you don't need to convince me of that. I saw it. Wow. And I didn't because I blinked. Wow. And somewhere in the middle of it, Jackson Asiku has been split across the nose. What was it, Andy? What punch right was it? Right hand. Right hand. A classic, beautiful short right hand. And Gary's legs aren't right. No, they're not right. We're in round number two, and Jackson Asiku is bombing him. Is absolutely going to work on he Gary is. Sinclair here. He is, he really is. 70 seconds to see out the round, which may in itself you be seeing, quite a task. I think, I really think you're seeing the decline of a, a once great champion. He's in trouble. When you see a fighter that's never been off his feet, Drop like that and getting hit like this. Gary St. Clair would never get caught with a punch like that. And this is, is, this is exactly what you're saying, Barry. Yep. Once those reflexes go, it's all downhill from there. But, oh, oh, there you go again. Oh, Tagged down easily. Yeah. Plenty of concern from the St. Clair corner. 30 seconds remain. Our referee, Gary Ingram, having a good long look. At his namesake, Gary Sinclair, the legs still aren't there. No, they're not right. And you know what, when you see a fighter, that, a really tough fighter that's never been off his feet, and when he finally does get dropped, it happens again. Yeah. You know, doesn't it, Paul? It does. Oh, Sinclair walks into another right hand, and again it's stung. Oh, look, his game is Ned Kelly. Whoa! Gary Sinclair getting tagged at will just yeah, about now. You know, this is... This is uh, I hope, to be honest with you, Gary considers retirement after this fight. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, 
holding and solely because I, I care so much about it. Gary Sinclair is a wonderful human being. He is, he is, and he just he just hasn't got it tonight. Now, you know, take I say hasn't got it. He's got it, but he's he's finding a, a very very you know top class world top world class opponent as well. But um, you know, let's remember that uh, the last time they fought, Sinclair won. And you know, it, in a boxer's career, it's the last couple of fights where he will always sustain the most damage. Always. Yeah, yeah. Without so doubt. why not look after your health? Realize your oh, reflexes. Oh, 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 and he's gone. He's holding on. Oh, picking him off. Still a secret. Three great shots. Late in round number seven, we will see the bell in this round. How many more will we go, Gary Ingram? Our referee is having a good look. So to the red corner in Losh Matthews. That's it. Overhand right there from Sinclair. But every shot Sinclair throws is partially blocked. And then the Siku just has as the energy as just lifts it up again and, 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 and throws five or six back in return he does and that's the difference for every one that, that gary gives him he gets four back yep look you know credit to gary a great fighter and you know great champion he used to after that knockdown in the second round which is you know it's uncharted territory for him it's never happened to him before to come back and be here this far into the fight it's just a true testament of the, the, the caliber of, of the warrior that Gary Sinclair is, and there it goes, he's gone! Sinclair! It's over. Yeah, it is over. It's finished. Six, Stop seven, it. Eight, it's over. It's over. Eight, nine, Stop it. Ten. Come here, no, come here, come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's coming to ten. Have we seen seven, enough? The no, right. is coming to ten. Oh, no, 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 Super featherweight champion from the blue corner, Action Jackson Asiki. That's your lot for now, but hot middleweight prospect Craig McEwen is in action next time. And we preview David Hayes shot at Vladimir Klitschko. But for now, we'll leave you with all action. Jackson Asiku bringing down the curtain on Gary St. Clair's long career. And remember, if it ain't KO, then it's not OK. OK.